Did you know in Desmos that when you have a very large number, you can actually manually change your settings to be able to see your graph oh instead God. of doing one of these? Is that what I'm good? Is that what I'm good? Do better. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Math and Silly Hats. Today we're going to be going over some linear equation modeling problems. In other words, word problems that would involve modeling through a linear equation of their population. Let's get into it. I have here a word problem, or for my students, my bell work, where we are asked to use this scenario. Population of Halloween Town has grown by an average of a thousand ghouls per year over the last five years. So I tell them to first go to Desmos, the Ohio version here. Click on the settings wrench here, and then change the x-axis minimum and maximum to negative five to positive five, and the y-axis to negative 5,000 to positive 25,000. Significantly different numbers than we started with from like negative seven to seven and negative 10 to 10. Then take a partial screenshot. Snippity, snip, 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 snot. Make sure you get some of those values so I can see your scale. The focus of this is just dealing with scale uh, because we've got five years and a lot of population. So years, the x-axis, the independent variable, what you can't change, you can't change time. Time gonna go. And the y variable uh, here, ghouls are changing per year. So we're increasing by a lot per year over five years. So we don't need many years, but we need lots of Y space. First part, just setting up your scale. Why do you think we changed the axis? Why do you think we changed our X axis to a much smaller scale, but changed our Y axis to a much larger scale? Well, hey, I just kind of answered that for you, which is why I answered that for you before asking this question. So if, if you weren't paying attention, just like go back 30 seconds, quickly, tap tap, whatever equipment you're using, go backwards. All right, so I, I kind of explained and will not explain again why we changed the X's to still be pretty small, but the Y's to be very large. One of these equations represents a linear model, a line of the given scenario. Enter each as a separate line in Desmos. So I want to graph these lines in Desmos. I'm gonna copy them, paste them, right? it's a lot. Okay, just chill out, chill out, bro. The reason we want to graph these is so we can visualize them. But all I ask you to do is take a screenshot of all four equations. It's a blot, it's a pretty pattern. Screenshot, snippety snap. Eliminate the wrong answers. This is why I had you graph them all. Click the squiggles to the left of the equations that don't make sense to turn off the wrong answers one by one. First, we know the town has a possible population five years ago. That has to be positive, right? We didn't have negative people in Halloween town. Not like this position negative, we actually negative numbers of people. All right, so which of these had negative numbers? Well, this one started with a negative number five years ago, right? Way the heck down there. Yeah, negative 71,000. That doesn't seem too realistic, do it. So let's get rid of that one. All right, and next, the town's overall population is growing. So it's increasing over time. In other words, it'll have a positive slope. So which of these is increasing the population as the years go on? Well. Obviously, this green line is going up over time. All right, well, the black line is going down over time, and the purple line is going down over time. So it's not purple, it's not black. That leaves us only one answer. A screenshot of all but one of the four equations hit. There's the equation that makes sense. You can see over the years, it started with a positive population and is increasing. Snippity snop. Which equation could represent an appropriate linear model of that population? So it's got to be one of these four. Hey, it was, it was this one. So 1,000x plus 1,500. Uh, this is my starting value or my y-intercept. And you can see that's where I have the intercept, my y-axis. And this is my slope or my change over time. And kind of a hint in this equation is we talked about the number of ghouls per year increasing. So your units here are kind of a hint that uh, we're going to be increasing. So it has to be a positive slope. And it's a thousand ghouls per year. So it's going to be my rise over my run. Rise ghouls per year is my run. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So my correct answer is slippity slap, dissin. Another one. 
uh, let's do a second example in case that one didn't sink in or you're not doing this type of problem or you might have a decreasing population. All right, scenario the second, uh, the average population of rabbits has mysteriously decreased by an average of 100 rabbits per year over the last 10 years. So again, go to Desmos. I'm going to set up my graph a little bit differently this time because I need to know what happened 10 years ago. So in my x-axis, which is going to represent time, I'm going to change that from negative 10 to positive 10. Negative 10 to positive 10, that's the default easy peasy. All right, for the y-axis, uh, I've got some large numbers. In my equations down here, at least 1,500, and it's uh, decreasing. So let's see how that works out. But we know we're going to be changing by at least 100 rabbits per year. So the y is going to have to be pretty large. Let's go over to our Desmos. And the, the way I chose this is I need some negatives so I can see the x-axis uh, going horizontally across the bottom. That would be when the population zero. Population below zero doesn't make any sense. So we don't need much of that. But I need to have a, a high, high enough uh, positive y that I can see at least what we started with, uh, whether it be 100 or 1,500, and then some more because presumably we're growing or decreasing and we want to be able to see in the past or in the future how much higher it was. So I chose a little bit more than 1500. So let's go from negative 250 to positive 2500, which is a little bit more than 1500. And again, if, if you're doing this for not my bell work, you don't need to do this part, but just, just explaining how we set up our X and Y axis in the settings so we can see the scale. Put the snippy snap of that there. Why do you think we changed our x-axis to a smaller scale, but changed our y-axis to a much larger scale? Again, I explained that. I'm not going over it again. I'm not going to give you the verbatim answers. Use succinct. Why use many word when few words do trick? All right, one of these equations represents a linear model of the scenario. Each of these, okay. Enter each as a separate line in Desmos. Enter each equation, move down. Okay, we, could, we don't have to do that because we could just copy and paste in bulk. But if you are on the state test or doing this from a book or something archaic like that, then you will have to manually put these in. Anyhow, there they all are. And there you go, pretty pattern. Almost, almost like I planned it like that. Snip snap of the important information. All right, eliminate wrong answers. Uh, click the squiggles to the left of the equations to make that don't make sense uh, to turn them off. So there was a positive population 10 years ago, okay? Where you can't have negative rabbits 10 years ago. So let's go back here. Uh, which of these had a negative population 10 years ago? Well, this definitely had a negative population 10 years ago. It'd be super negative. So not that one. And then finally, the rabbit population is decreasing. So it should have a negative slope and be decreasing over time. So certainly this one is increasing. My population is going up from 1500 to the 2000 plus. Not this one. Uh, this one is decreasing over time right? Very rapidly. Do you think uh, less than a year from now, we're going to have negative 56 rabbits? Eh, maybe not. Um, and do we think that 10 years ago, we had uh, probably tens or fifties of thousands of rabbits? This one doesn't make as much sense. So this one is decreasing over time and has a reasonable amount of rabbits, both in the past 10 years ago, you know, uh, a thousand more, and in the future is still a positive number, you know, 500. So this is really the only one that makes sense here. All right, and which equation could represent a linear model of this? This one, because it has a positive starting value and a negative slope to represent that we had some rabbits 10 years ago, but are decreasing. And we currently have 1,500. All righty, Rooney, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. For those of you at home who aren't doing my bell work, maybe you're given just a word problem from your teacher and they're asking you to write a linear equation. They're not giving you a multiple choice question. It's not the state test. Just write a linear equation based on a word problem. How do? Okay, well, the graphing here will only be to make sure it makes sense. Okay, just like we did before, you want to eliminate wrong answers, i.e. your answer might be wrong if you choose uh, to put those values you see in the wrong places in the equation. Alphonse and Becca both have 100 followers on a social media platform. Over the next 12 months, Alphonse's number of followers increases by 10 each month. All right, so we're writing a linear equation. I'm inserting an equation here, uh, like a non-savage, because that's how we do. So let's choose a variable, y, to be equal to the number of uh, followers he has after a certain number of months. So y is going to be equal to, well, we know we need 100 and 10 and 12, maybe, ah, right? So here, let's, let's underline and highlight important information. So they have 100 followers, okay? 
And then over the next 12 months, they're increasing by 10 each month. Okay. So this definitely has to do with time. This has to do with time. Uh, this is uh, followers increases by 10 each month. Okay, so which of these is a constant? Well, this is a constant, right? So 100 followers is how much you have, no matter what happens with time, okay? So if time is zero, you got 100 followers. Now we've got a 12 and a 10 here. So this is like our y-intercept, all right? So I usually make my y-intercept red. The m, the slope, I put in blue. So followers increases by 10 each month. So this is 10 followers per month, and this is just 12 months. So one of these is, is a rate of change. This is the rate of change, right? Increases by 10 each month. So 10 followers per month. Well, the, this should be in the number of followers, right? So we'll have to multiply this by something. We'd have to multiply that by the number of months. So let's say this is 10 X. And then what do we do with this hundred? Well, we're going to add it because it is positive. It's a positive number we start with. It's just like Y equals MX plus B. We have followers equals 10 times the number of months plus hundred. I could change this to, maybe it makes a little bit more sense followers as a function of months equals 10 times the number of months plus 100. Um, so here we have All right, so we speculate that this is the correct uh, representation of our scenario. So let's go ahead and plug that into Desmos. Uh, in Desmos here, we go home. Uh, again, I'm not going to be able to see the number 100 here, right? So which of these do I need to change? Well, I need to change my x-axis to include the next 12 months. So we actually don't need much in the past. So let's go from like negative 2 to, I don't know, 14. So we can see 12 in there. All right, so here's our 12 months. And then let's change our y-axis. We know we started with 100 and we're gaining 10 per month for the next 12 months. So we're going to have a lot more than 100. So let's go from like a negative 50, just so we can see the x-axis, to a lot more than 100, I don't know, 300. And then let's put in our equation. So at 12 months, we would have 220 followers. Does that make sense? I think so. Uh, let's pretend we weren't smarty and we put this backwards. So let's say 100x plus 10. Well, I'll need to zoom out significantly for that. Do you think after 12 months, I'm going to have 1,200 followers from 100? If I'm gaining 10 per month, no, you just, you just got YouTube famous. Okay. That, that is not how this is, is working out. So this is a more reasonable answer. And we might, yes, yeah, a follow-up question of how many followers do you have after the 10 months you would have 220. Hopefully this has been helpful. And now you know how to change your settings in Desmos to be able to see graphs of very large numbers changing over a small number of years uh, or increments of time, such as months. Also how you can, if given multiple choice questions, eliminate wrong answers and arrive at the correct answer. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. I've trained you well, still have much to learn. You have not